Jesus, God bless Amen. you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we give God yes. the glory. We give God the yes. honor. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Lord, we bless oh, your holy yes, name God. right now, Lord. Anoint my lips of clay to speak forth your oracles yes, in the name God. of Jesus. Oh, I say greetings to all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. This is one more day that the Lord have made. I shall rejoice and be glad. Amen. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Hey man, I just wanted to make sure everybody can hear me all right. How many glad and excited about Jesus? Yes. Oh my God, I say God bless everybody, YouTube, Facebook. Hey man, God bless you. What a way, what an opportunity it is to tune in to hear a word from God. Yes, and how Lord. beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace that bring glad tidings of good things. And I, hey man, do pray that we all be ready. Yes, Lord. Oh my God, I said I pray that we all be ready. Yes. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah, for in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, amen, this mortal shall put on incorruption, and this mortal shall put on immortality. We give honor to Bishop Willis, my pastor, Bishop Thomas H. Willis Jr. God bless you. I certainly give honor to your wife, Evangelist Beverly Willis. Pillars in the gospel, laborers down through the years, and it's such a, it's such a privilege and an honor to labor with you both in the gospel. I definitely give you both high honor, amen. And I give honor to my lovely wife, Sister Tierra Frazier. Yes. Lord. Oh, my God. She whipped me through it all. Yes. Amen. I had a fight with the devil before I got on this line. But thank God that I yet got the victory. Oh, yes. Amen. How many know anybody that's real with God, they're going to have to fight the devil? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. When you're serious about doing the work for God, the devil going to give you some opposition. Amen. But thanks be to God who is on our side thank that you. no weapon that's formed against me yes. shall prosper. Yes, hallelujah. Whoa, I thank God for being on my side. Uh, amen. We all got to be ready. Saints of God, people of God. We got to keep ourselves in a position, amen, for the coming of the Lord and draw nigh. And I know that some of you going through, some of you hurting, some of you is, amen, having it hard. You're waiting on God, looking for answers, seeking, amen, God for doors to be open. Let me let you know, amen, that that, that shall come and will come and it will not tear it yes. because because God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he shall repent. You just got to trust in God and wait God. on God. Yes. And I do declare God will move on your behalf. Yes, you oh yes. How many know that I'm right about it? Amen. We got to have that faith in God. Yes. Beyond our current circumstances. We got to look to the end while we in what we in. And I hope you understand what I'm talking about. I said we got to look to the end why we in what we in. Yes. Oh yeah, looking up to Jesus who's the author and the finish of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, he endured his cross. Uh, he was looking at the end, y'all. This even why he was in what he in. Uh, and uh, hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, God, he's on our side. He's yes. never failed us uh, because there is no failure in God. No failure. There is no defeat in God. Yes. We just gotta keep the faith um, and never cease to pray. We got to walk up right. And that's the key, beloved. We got to make sure that we are walking up right. Morning, noon, day, and night. And God will be there. Yeah. Because how many know God ain't nothing to play with? Amen. Oh no, I said God ain't nothing to play with. You got a whole lot of lukewarm folk thinking they going to heaven. Exactly. Amen. But you got to be fervent in the spirit. Yeah, God said, Jesus said I would that you would either hide or cold, but because you lukewarm, I will spew you out. We got to be fervent in the spirit. Yes. We got to be serious about God. We got to be serious about serving God. We got to be serious about living for God. And we got to be serious about keeping God's commandments. Amen. Woo, I said we got to be serious about keeping God's commandments. We got to hold the level and fight the devil. Yes. Oh yeah, because the devil is a roaring lion. He walking about seeking whom he may devour. He trying to get leaders to take down. Mm -hmm. He trying to get leaders to compromise. Yes. He trying to get the head destroyed. Amen. Because if he can get the head, the body is good as dead. But God got somebody that's going to stand up, that 
that's not going to take down, that's going to hold the level, that's going to lift up a bloodstained banner, that's going to that's gonna declare holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Yes. Oh yeah, you got a whole lot of folk, amen. They claiming to be of us, uh, mm-hmm. but the Bible said by their fruit ye shall know them. And it's easy to talk Christ, amen, but you got to walk Christ. Uh, you got to live like Christ. Uh, you got to be an example like Christ. Uh, you got to deny ungodliness and worldly lusts uh, and present yourself holy before God uh, all the days of your life, uh, amen, because t- the devil, uh, amen, he's deceiving so many f- yeah. people with false teaching and false yeah. appearances, false apostles, false doctrine, false leaders, uh, amen. Amen. Having a form of godliness, uh, but they deny the power thereof. Yeah. God looking for somebody that's uh-huh. gonna body, somebody that's gonna be real. Yes. God looking for somebody that's gonna be real. Oh yeah, and I would not be negligent. Amen. To keep you in remembrance of these things. We got to hold fast to sound doctrine. We got to hold fast to the truth of God. Yes. Those that's been taught by God. Right. We got to hold fast to what we've been taught. Amen. Because deceivers and manipulators are right. they trying to change the truth of God into a lie. Yes. Trying to let you know that you can be saved by grace without without actually being being obedient to the word of God uh, mm-hmm. and that is a lie yes, yes we are saved by grace uh, we saved by the unmerited favor of God uh, none of our works of righteousness which we have done uh, amen in order to obtain salvation it just take believing in Jesus the son of God who's able to take away your sins yes. uh, oh and he died for the remission of the, the sins of the whole wide yes, world uh, amen but oh, yet Lord. after once you receive salvation yes. It take a pattern of good works Maintaining good works It take a life of obedience To God's yes, word In order to stay saved Yes, amen And that's what so many deceivers And manipulators and hey, That's where they, that's where they get this thing mixed up uh, Amen, and that's where they mislead So many people They rely on what nobody's perfect uh, We oh, all yes, fall amen. short Of the glory of God uh, Yes, as, as sinners we are all fell short of the glory of God right. but not one saint of God oh, is yet falling it. short of saints are obedient yes, to the are. word of God yes. saints are obedient to Matthew 5 48 where it say to be ye therefore perfect even as your father which is in heaven is perfect and you got a whole lot of people amen they standing on false doctrine mm-hmm. there ain't nobody perfect right. when God in Genesis 17 and 1 where well, God told Abram before the uh, before Jesus Christ came on the scene, uh, mm-hmm. before grace and truth came by Jesus yes. Christ, uh, Genesis 17 and 1, I'm glad somebody looking it up now, mm-hmm. amen, right. the Bible said God told Abram uh, to walk upright before me and be thou perfect, yes, oh yes, even before the law of God, amen, even in the times of the law, God was claiming perfection, God was proclaiming and declaring a life of holiness a life of righteousness before God oh yeah and now that we got grace and truth it's even more tight and restricted for us as saints amen, amen. they used to just offer up amen sacrifices year by year amen for a continual reminder of sin as a sacrifice uh, to be forgiven of sins uh, but now God is looking for man to live free from oh, sin yes he is because amen. Jesus died to take away our sins uh, yes, and is. in him in God is no, no sin uh, and whosoever the son of God may free you are free indeed yes, but Lord. then that word goes to say in John 8 31 he said ye are my disciples if ye continue in my word amen amen so that means we got to continue in God's yes. word we got to stand for the standards of God yes. somebody need to repeat that somebody say stand for yes. the standards of God for the standards of God because there is a 
way that seemed right oh, unto yeah. a man, uh, but the end of that ways is the ways of death. Uh, and you got blind leaders that's leading the blind. Uh, and if blind guides lead the blind, they all going to fall into the ditch. Uh, but us as the old landmark diocese, uh, those that's been established yeah. in the truth, uh, we got to stand for the standards uh, which we have been taught. Amen. Yes, we do. Amen. Because the gospel would never change. You got so many people, they looking for a new word. Right. Oh, send new word. Send right. new word. Don't you know the Bible from Genesis, the revelation is the same? Yes. He said forever, oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Uh, there is no new doctrine. Uh, oh, there Lord. is no new revelation. Uh, oh, amen. Stand ye in the ways. Uh, see and ask for that old path. Uh, yes, where Lord. is the good way? Uh, and walk therein. Yes. Oh, I'm starting to feel all right now. All he right. said and walk oh. therein. Yes, Amen. Lord. But you got so many people, they looking for new ways. Yeah, right. And that's why they said we will not walk therein. Because they looking for something that uh Amen that a uh, that a uh, that uh, uh, satisfy their flesh. Yeah, all right. They looking for pe appeasers of the flesh. Uh, mm -hmm. The Bible said that in the that they will heap to themselves teachers uh, having itching ears. Uh, they looking for people that's gonna preach to them what they want to hear. Uh, that's why you got so many religions and so many churches, uh, so many different uh, uh, denominations uh, because they got people that's going to churches of their choice, uh, amen. That's preaching what they are, like, what they want to do, uh, and they got preachers and they find churches and, and congregations that uh, allow them to do the sins that they want to do. Amen. You right. Oh yeah, I just gotta you tell right. the truth. I'm yeah. not trying to preach to impress nobody. Right. I'm just trying to cry loud and yeah. spare not. Uh, please God in all that I do uh, and warn somebody uh, that you got to know the truth uh, because it's only the truth that's going to make you free. Uh, you got to stick with truth when you hear it. Uh, yes, you Lord. got to follow God's commandments when you hear it. Uh, yeah. And when God put out that chastening rod, uh, right. you got to humble yourself yeah. under the mighty hand of God uh, and God will exalt you uh, yes, because Lord. the only way up is down. Uh, yeah. You got to humble yourself. Uh, you got to abase yourself. Uh, yeah. You got to follow holy preachers as they preach. Uh, they're sent by God. God. Amen. Because you got a whole lot of people that went that wasn't sin. Amen. But they that's of God will speak the things of God. Yes. They gonna be the messengers of God. God want everybody to know that it won't be long. It's yes. time to prepare yourself. Yes, it's time to get your house in order. Yes. It's time to be ye ready. Oh, yes, get Lord. back to the old landmark. Oh, get back to those old standards. Yes, get back to that old sound teaching. Yes. Amen. And stop mixing with the world. Uh, taken down little by little uh, right. You got a lot of unwatchful leaders uh, Blind leaders uh, That's taken down little by little uh, right. And a little leaven leavens the whole up uh, right. It's time to be holy uh, yeah. It's time to cry holy uh, yeah. It's time to live holy Holy Yes Lord all the days oh, of your life. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. We ain't got time to compromise. Oh, no. Amen. Read the book, please. Amen. Galatians 1, 6 through 9. Yeah. I marvel that ye are so, so soon. I marvel. I marvel. Yes. Paul was talking to the Galatians church. Yeah. Amen. But I'm marveling. There's so many of these so-called holy preachers that got all this wisdom that's been walking with God for, they claim they've been in God for so long. I marvel. Yeah. That they are so soon removed. What? From him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Unto another gospel. Another mean different. Amen. You remove yourself from from God when you begin to accept and receive something right. else uh, that's contrary to what God has already taught you. Uh, I marvel, yeah. amen, that you got so many leaders that's taken down. Uh, they, 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 they leaving all the, amen, they falling and tripping uh, over the basic principle things. Uh, amen, don't you know what God required years ago uh, is still God's requirement today. Uh, yeah. What God said was sin then, uh, the Bible said is still sin today. Uh, yes. Because the wages of sin is death. Yes, it it is. didn't say nothing about no time frame uh, right. on sin. Uh, what was sin then is sin today. What yes. was wrong then is wrong today. What was unholy then is still unholy today. Amen. How many know that I'm right about it? Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. It's still wrong today. Can somebody hear me out there? 
Amen. All right. All right. Just want to make sure. Amen. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him, from God. Yes. Who have called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. And just because some people, they, I, well, I don't see it like that. I don't, I don't see it like you, brother. That don't mean that what we know is wrong just because you don't see it like that. And that don't make you right because you don't see it the way we see it. Amen. To much whom is given, the same much is required. Yes. God have sent preachers and teachers. I, I laid apostle down through the years. Don't you know our whole organization is built on the foundation of the sound gospel, sound gospel doctrine that God taught us through the late apostle yes. and everybody know that he was a man of God yes amen and just because one person say well that's error or just because one person say that's wrong don't you know that don't make us wrong all right. Amen. Don't you know they could be wrong? Amen. We got to know how can we be wrong? Think about it, people. How could we be wrong or in error with what we know that God taught us? All right now. Don't you know God taught us? Yes, sir. God established this truth. Amen. God revealed his word. God sent his preachers. God preached through his leaders and confirmed it with signs and wonders. Yes. God taught us what we know. It said, it said, I marvel. Read. Which is not another. Read it again. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. See, we got to watch deceivers, y'all. We got to watch, amen, even those that claim to be of us. Because that's how deceivers get in. They come in wolves and sheep clothing, deceiving yeah. themselves to be of us. Amen. But when they start teaching erroneous, contrary to the doctrine which we have learned, we got to mark them, yeah. which cause divisions. The, the Bible said to mark them, which cause divisions. The Note them. Know who they are. Amen. Which cause divisions, contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. We got to be careful how much we listen to people and just, oh, I'm just, I know how to just ignore the wrong. All right. Be careful talk with that. This. Let me talk about it. Amen. I, I just know how to ignore the wrong. Be exactly. careful exactly. ignoring the word wrong, baby. Amen. Because when you constantly feed and feed and feed oh, and you, you know right, you know they in error, you constantly Come feed and now. feed and ignore it. Amen. Some of that gonna slip in after a while. All right. You telling the truth. They say you are what you eat. Come on. That's what they say. Amen. So we got to be careful. Amen. When I see somebody off in the air, I'm not going to constantly be feeding off them. Amen. Because some of that false doctrine, false teaching is going to sound logical after a while. Because the devil is a master deceiver. Yes. I'm trying to help somebody. I'm trying to help somebody stand for the standards of God. How many yes. on this line willing to stand for the standards? Oh, yes, sir. How many willing to fight against Amen. false teaching? How many willing to fight against false teaching when you know Amen. that they false with what they saying? You know that they wrong. You know that they in error. And you see they trying to push that on the folk. Every week trying to constantly push it and push it and trying to push it and force it on you. How many going to stand against false doctrine? All right. Amen. Amen. That's what it means. Amen. Taking a stand for God's standards. I'm willing to shy away and stand all alone. Amen. For the truth of God's word, no matter who else take down or compromise. Come on. It Say said, that. it said uh, uh, to a grace of another gospel, which is not another. Ain't no another gospel. Go ahead. But there be some that trouble you. Even now today, we got those that's troubling the saints of God with their erroneous teaching and false doctrine. All right. And what? And will pervert the gospel of Christ. And would pervert the gospel. If you allow it by you giving heed and ear to it, they gonna pervert the gospel. Pervert means to turn away somebody, amen, from what is right or good. That's what it means to pervert. Yes. You got a whole lot of pervert, pervert leaders in the pulpit. They pervert it. The preaching that they teach is perverted. Oh yeah, they they preach holiness, but they never dig in a wall. All right. It's funny why you don't never hear them talking about certain sins. Come they'll on. Pre they'll preach. They say holiness in general, sin in general, but they never dig in a wall. All they right. never talk about it. They never expose what sin is. They never talk about what worldliness is. 
Come on. Oh, yeah, but I'm set for the defense of the gospel. Right. Amen. It's wrong for women to wear pants. Yes, uh, it it's is. wrong for them to deck up with all that makeup, Amen. earrings, jewelry, all that bracelets, and oh, my God. Amen. See, you don't get preachers that dig in a wall. Come fake on. nails and fake eyelashes, fake eyebrows. Uh, you don't get these preachers digging in a wall uh, and showing these people the abominations that God is against. Uh, yes. But they'll preach holiness and salvation and save like you. Uh, but it's funny. Think about it. Take note. I never heard them preach like that. Never heard them preach against jewelry and makeup. And oh, you never hear. They, you don't hear them preaching about that. But it's still holiness. Yes. It's still worldliness. Worldliness is still worldliness. Yes. And holiness is still holiness. Yes. And won't be unto these leaders that's given to change. Yes. It's corrupt. Something perverted is corrupt. It's said to pervert the gospel. You got a whole lot of good sounding preachers that's corrupting sound doctrine. Because they don't see it that way. All right. That's a that's why you gotta really know the word of God for yourself. Because everything that sound good ain't good. Amen. You right. Every preacher that sound good, revving back, got a tune. Every, hallelujah. Everything that sound good ain't good. Amen. The devil is a master of deception. It's no marvel that if he transformed himself, it's no marvel if he transformed his ministers into the angels of light. All Right. They gonna come, amen, with three piece suits on, mm-hmm. ties, smelling good, looking good, you're with with truth. a perverted gospel. You telling the truth? Amen. Some folk is so stubborn, that's why you can't reason with them. All right, they're set in the way that they think. They set in the way that they've been taught. Amen, and they are refuse the. They are refuse what God is trying to teach them. Oh, they don't want to hear Elder Frazier. No, let's call up. Let's make phone calls about Elder Frazier. Let's talk about how we don't agree and what he was saying. And he beating up on people. The devil is a lie. Right. My hands haven't beat up on nobody. Come it's the on. gospel. And if this word find you, if it hits you, uh, it's God being merciful, trying yes. to get you to correct yourself. Uh, because it, it won't be long uh, when on. Christ is going to crack that sky. That's and right. it's a shame and it's sad that he going to catch so many so-called oh church God. folk with that. Works undone. So right, you so right. Amen. It's holiness without which no man shall Come see on. the Lord. That's it's right. still holiness or hell. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. If you ain't living holy, you're going to hell. Amen. If you of the world, you're going to hell. Amen. You cannot be of God and the world too. No, you can't. You cannot be a hypocrite and go to heaven. Come on. The Bible said the hope of a hypocrite shall perish. Hallelujah. It's going to perish. You're going to be lost. Yes, you are. With your fake church going self. All right. Bishop always say going to church don't save you. No, it don't. Just because you are a, a A plus church attender, All right. that do not mean you going to heaven. Amen. Because you got a lot of church attenders, but they church pretenders. All right. Yeah. That's right. It said though we, though we, me or any other preacher. Or an angel from heaven. No respect the person with God or any angel from heaven. Preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached. Then then what you've already received by God, Mm -hmm. what got you saved, what got you free from sin, what got what broke the shackles of chains of the shackles of sin and bondage in your life uh, that caused you to put away those smoking, uh, that caused you to put away drinking, uh, that caused you to put away alcohol and partying, uh, the things that delivered you, that gospel that brought you out of the world, uh, that brought you out of degradation, bondage, and sin uh, when you got somebody, no matter who it is, uh, preaching something other than we have preached that you have received already, what? Let him be a curse. Something that's a curse is rejected. Let him be a curse. That person needs to be rejected. All right. Not accepted among the brethren. Yeah. Not, oh, I thank God for brother so-and-so, sister so-and-so, and and they are cursed by God because they preach a doctrine other than that which we have already received. 
And some of these people, they, they used to be members, uh, they used to sit under sound doctrine, uh, but then they up and move and relocated somewhere else, uh, mm-hmm. and then they got with another preacher, uh, mm-hmm. and they took down. Okay. Now the things that they used to say amen to, uh, the things that they used to testify about, uh, mm-hmm. amen, God, the devil done caused them uh, to make a reproach against God, uh, yes. because they done got with another leader that didn't see it like that, uh, and with his smooth words and flattery, uh, amen, he deceived the hearts of the simple. Amen. Amen. Them people are cursed. Yes. Amen. So many people they stood up saying amen to the truth. Amen. You right. Amen, Bishop. Amen to the truth. Amen. But you look at them now. Amen. They 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 corrupted. They they go they 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 living exactly the uh, the gospel. Amen. That Bishop Mitchell preached against. Amen. They look in them themselves exactly the very fruit of what he preached them out of. Amen. They rejected. That's somebody that's rejected. And don't you know when you reject the sound doctrine and you take down and you conform to another gospel, you can't expect God to hear your prayer. Right. You walking in hypocrisy. All right. You doing slick, conniving, sinful stuff that you know saints of God don't do because you've been taught. And uh-huh. then you think you could just gather around saints and pray and think God to hear your prayer. Some of these people know how to pray. They ain't forgot how to pray. Right. Father God in the name of Jesus. They ain't forgot how to pray. Right. But don't you know God ain't accepting everybody prayer? I just got to tell it like it is. If you're not oh, living yeah, right, if you're right. not living holy, if you're not living blameless, you taking a chance on God hearing your prayer. All right. I said you taking a chance. We know that God here if not sinners, but he that be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him God hear yeah. So that, that's not to say God don't hear every sinner's prayer, because mm-hmm. God will hear a sinner's prayer, and some yeah. prayers God do hear. Yeah. But then some prayers God turn away. Amen. Some prayers God will block with his throne, amen, his cloud and his throne, he won't let them prayers get through. Some prayers are abomination, All because right. they, they rebellious, they hypocrites, uh-huh. they liars, they deceivers, they manipulators, and they walk in Contrary to sound doctrine Which they have learned The Bible said when you turn your ear away from hearing the truth Your prayers are an abomination All right. God ain't hearing all these prayers Come you on. can get on the conference line You can gather in prayer meetings all you want Gather together with prayer meetings all you want Family members prayer meetings all you want Some of them prayers ain't going no higher Than your voice could travel Because God ain't listening Hey, amen. But though we or an angel receive from uh, though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached, it said, "Let him be accursed." Don't you know when people they when you got preachers that distort, amen? When they distorting the people from the truth, that makes them accursed. When you distort people from the right and the holy and the narrow way Mm -hmm. and you give people excuses to walk in contrary ways that will make you accursed by God. And you got a lot of people They are cursed by God And they yet preaching Amen They yet with titles You right They yet going to church faithfully Amen Gathering messages faithfully But yet are cursed by God All right Somebody accursed is somebody that's doomed to destruction. They own their way down and they'll take you down if you listen to them. Amen. They own their way down and they will take you down if you give heed to them. Read. Amen. As we said before, so said I now again. I got to tell you what God gave me, y'all. Amen. It's time we got to stand for the standards of God. Right. That's how you protect your salvation. Yes. That's how you protect your soul. That's how you keep yourself blameless. Yes. Well, I'm just you can't you can't just worry about leaders, 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 leaders. You can't just worry about well, I know what's right. I know what I've been taught. Some of us leaders, we've been trained well. And we hear and we know people that's in decept that's walking disorderly. Right. We know people that's walking in error. Come we on. know false teaching and, and doctrine that's not right and distorted word when we hear it. But you know what some leaders do? Well, I'm just worried about me. I know what I know. No, God didn't call you to just be worried about you. You got to stand for the standards of God, which require you to come against false teaching and correct false teaching, tear down false teaching, to pull down, to pluck up, to root out, to plant and to build. Yes. Woo, glory to God. I know that I'm right about it. Amen. I don't know why. 
Hey Amen. We we dealing with what we dealing with with so many closed mouth leaders. They just focused on them, focused on them. If that was the case, why are you in leadership? You got to be focused on the people just as much as yourself. Yeah. My, I care about the flock. I care about false preaching when, when they preaching over God's people like that. Yeah. It hurts my heart to hear saints repeating, amen, uh, worldly, worldly slang. Yeah. You got preachers trying to reach people with slang and got the saints repeating slang. That saddens me. That don't belong in the church. Amen. I care about what I tell you. Woe be unto me if I preach not the gospel. And I don't have nothing to glory in for necessity is laid upon me. And that's what I'm trying to get a lot of these leaders to recognize that a necessity is laid upon you. We got to tell the truth. Yes. We got to uphold the truth. Amen. We got to stand for the standards of God. Read. I know you got to get out of here. Read. If any man preach any other gospel unto you that they have received, let him be accursed. We can't pre we can't preach or receive another doctrine. All right. We can't preach or receive Come on. a different message. There is no different message. He said, earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered you. Yes. Once. Once. There's one Lord, one doctrine, one faith. One faith. Yes. Where all these other doctrines come from? Where all these other standards come from? We got to stand for the gospel, stand for the doctrine, which means we got to defend, uphold, and live for the for, for uh, the teachings of God according to what God have taught us. Amen. I know you right. And don't you know standing for God, standing for his word, they taking a the defense for the gospel, that requires a commitment to God. We got to be committed to his word, y'all. Yes. We got a desire to walk in his word, desire to please God uh, in everything. Whatever your words say, how to live, I want to live it. Uh, whatever yes, your Lord. words say not to do, God, I, I don't want to do it. Uh, yes, whatever the Holy Ghost compels or convict me not to do that's not in your word. God, God I want to avoid that too. Amen. That's how you walk in the spirit. Yes. That's how you walk in the spirit. When you obey the Holy Ghost. Yes. Oh, I'm talking, y'all. Oh, thank you, Jesus. That's how you walk in the Spirit. When you live and obey the Holy Ghost. Yes. Everything you we preach and teach ain't going to be found in a scripture. You ain't going to find crack in the Bible, people. But don't smoke crack. Right. Crack don't put a lot of people in the grave. Amen. Don't commit suicide. Come on now, it's, it's a lot of things in the Bible that we preach that's not that's not written. But there's a spoken word. There's a written word. And then through the Holy Ghost, there's a revealed word. Amen. Oh, yes. Yes. 2 Timothy. Hold fast the form. No, you got to tell us where we at. Sorry. 2 Timothy 1, 13 and 14. Hold fast the form of sound words. Which thou hast heard of me. Well, let me help you out because you got to get out of here. Okay, it said, hold fast. Go ahead. The form of sound words which thou hast heard of me. Which thou has sound words, y'all. And it said, hold fast. That word hold fast means to, re to retain, to possess, to keep a firm hold on. With strength, determined to not let it go. The form of sound words. Words that cannot be condemned. Words that's, amen, that God will support and back up with his word. See, a lot of things we preach that's not written in the word, God will support and back it up with his word. It'll line up with God's word. And in order to hold fast the sound doctrine, you got to commit to it uh, and support those who are committed to it. Uh, that's what I mean by standing for the standards of God. Uh, we got to uphold the leaders uh, that's preaching sound doctrine, uh, that's telling men and women, uh, you got to come out of sin because no sin is going to heaven. Amen. Amen. Right. This whole old landmark diocese was built on the foundation of sound doctrine. Yes, it was. But be, and, and because the leader die, and because the leader die, that don't mean that the teaching's supposed to die. That's what it means by carrying the torch. That's what it means by passing the baton. 
Amen. We got to hold fast to what's been taught by our late apostle R.L. Mitchell. Amen. And we understand that a leader can make a mistake. Oh, yeah, I understand that a leader can error. But I guarantee, I declare that he was more right than he was ever wrong. So it's imperative to stop focusing on the minute one thing. Stop focusing on that. Why are you so focused on the one thing somebody did wrong and you straining at a you straining at a net, but you swallowing the camel? We got to eat the whole row of everything he taught us and stop focusing on one thing that he did wrong. I got to tell the truth, y'all. Focusing on one or two, come on now, saints. We gotta stand, y'all. How many know? How many know? Uh, uh, sound doctrine is right. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead and talk about me. Call about me. I still know what I'm saying is true. It's sound. I know what I'm saying is sound. You cannot condemn it. You might don't agree with it. You might buck and fight against it. But ain't nobody mad at the devil. Ain't nobody mad but the devil and some folk that's in their flesh. That's the only person mad at this type of preaching. All I'm doing is encouraging you to obey God's word. To stand fast and hold to fast to God's word that you've been taught and don't take down. We got to stand and fight to protect the integrity of the truth of God's word. That's what we got to do. And we got to be more determined now than ever to stand for God's standards because many deceivers have in it in. The enemy is tricking so many people to change. And God said to meddle not, the bright and proverbs, to meddle not with them that are given to change. We cannot fellowship with every church. We cannot accept every preacher. We cannot accept any doctrine. Acts 20 and 28 says, take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost have made you overseers. Talking to the leaders, but yet this can apply to all saints. We got to make sure that we watching the leaders. Amen. To feed the church of God, which he hath purchased with his own blood. Amen. None of these preachers that are trying to change God's word die for nobody. For I know, Paul said, I know that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Apostle Mitchell used to bring this scripture a lot before he died, saying, I know that after my departing, grievous wolves shall enter in, not sparing the flock. Uh, grievous wolves, those are false teachers. Uh, those are false pe preachers that are influenced by the devil who are saying that they of God. Uh, amen. But they walk contrary. Contrary to the word of God, pretending to be of God, uh, pretending to be of the same act and the same teaching. That's what a false, grievous wolf will do. A grievous wolf, he come in acting like he just like you. But his, his, his intent is to change, amen, what you've been taught because he never agreed with it. That's what a grievous wolf will do. Oh, I'm going to expose that grievous devil today. A grievous wolf will come in with an intent that he's to try to portray that he's just like you, that he believed like you, that all of the teaching that you received, he received, they received. But the intent is to get you to change from what you've been taught because they never agree with it themselves. All these folk that's got so much bad things to say about Apostle Mitchell and his teaching, where was they when, they was, when he was preaching? Where was they to combat and contradict the word that he was preaching? You ain't even hear from him. When God was using him to heal the sick, raise the dead, and perform all these miracles, God was using him. Amen. Where was these so-called folk that opposed his teaching? Where was they then? Yes. False teachers will come try to lead people astray. They'll try to lead you astray if you let them. Amen. From teaching is from the standards that you've been taught. But saints, we got to stand fast and hold to what we've been taught so we can teach others also. And that's what the devil wants. He wants to stop the doctrine so we don't present the full gospel. Amen. That saved us to the next generation. Jesus. It takes correcting people that needs to be corrected. That's what standing for the standards of God do. Where's the leaders? No, you supporting false teaching instead of correcting the false teaching. They, you know what they do? 
They pick and choose. They respect the person. They pick and choose who they want to correct and pick and choose who they want to just submit to. I don't care who it is. It don't matter what title they hold. If they're in error and if they're wrong and they're teaching, they need to be addressed. Am I right, church? Amen. Amen. I guarantee you if I was if I begin to preach false doctrine some somebody that's true about God's word will address me. Right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What about when you hear somebody else preaching false doctrine? Why are we not addressing them? We can't be scared. We can't have respect the person respect the preacher. Come on now. Where's your boldness? Don't you know it takes boldness to stand for the standards of God? Don't you know it's, it's going to take boldness to protect the flock, the people? It's going to take some boldness to protect God's sheep. Amen. Amen. Them shepherds, they'll, they'll go out there with a rod and fight off them wolves, y'all. Where the shepherds with the rods at? They staff collecting dust. Oh, it takes sitting folk down and not letting them teach when they not right. Amen. Verse 30, Acts 20 and 30, 20, uh, where I'm at, 20 and verse 30 says, also of your own selves. Look at this now. Look at this warning, y'all. It said, also of your own selves, right among you people. Shall men arise speaking perverse things? And don't you know all deception don't sound deceptive? That's right. Nope. That all deception do not sound deceptive. When the devil tricked Eve, right. oh my God, thou shall not surely die. See what the devil he like to do is he like to take the truth and twist it, y'all. Yes, yes. He can't tell the truth, but he will use the truth to deceive. Come on, man. Speaking perverse things. Uh oh, to draw away disciples after them, after themselves. They motivate to help you stay saved. They motive is to draw away you unto them into their doctrine and teaching, how they see it and believe. But we got to watch and we got to be on guard. It said, therefore, watch. Somebody say, watch. watch. We got to guard against folk trying to change what we know. Ver, uh, Galatians 5 and 1, I'm almost through. Galatians 5 and 1, I got to give you what God gave me. Now, this is important now. That's why I had to wrestle with the devil because he didn't, he didn't want me to bring this word. It said, stand fast, therefore in the liberty, Galatians 5 and 1, wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. This liberty, wherewith Christ hath made us free, came by the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ and sound doctrine. Yeah. You can't be saved by false doctrine. Hey man, any not one person in the devil's church is saved. Any church that the devil has established, any church that the devil is ruling and controlling, not one person in there is saved. You understand that? Oh, I don't get a lot of amen. Is anybody saved in the devil's church? Is anybody saved in the devil's church? Not one. Not one. Because the devil, if the devil, if he, if he, if he, uh, come against, he come against his own kingdom, he coming to tear down. And if he allow, if he allow people to get saved in his church, he coming, he fighting against his own self. Amen. A lot of deceiving preachers, they sound good, but what they preach is not sound doctrine. We got to stay with the word because we'll lose what we got if we stop seeking God. We'll lose what we got if we stop praising God. We'll lose what we got if we stop staying in God's word. Amen. We'll lose what we got, people. What God wanted to change, he did change. That old covenant, amen, he changed some of those things. Amen. The times and the ways that they worship, the ways that they sacrifice, uh, the way that God even forgives sin today uh, is changed. It's different from the way that he forgave sin before. Uh, so what God changed, he did change. Uh, but what God wanted to change, didn't, what he didn't want to change, it still stands today. Yay, man. Amen. 
Amen. And I pray that we all stick fast and hold fast to that original teaching. That original mandate for holiness. The original mandate for holiness. Where you have to, amen, be all the way out of the world to be saved. Where they used to sit down folk that wasn't preaching. What they were, sit down at organists. Put that drama on strike. Put them choir directors on strike. When their life wasn't reflecting the gospel that God preached. We got to get back to those standards. Yeah. Ain't no sense of you got somebody saved and they still got homosexual tendencies. Homose homose Don't you know when you're a homosexual in the world and God saved you, he take, the, the, he take those ways away from you? That's a mark. That's an art. That's a mark that's, a, that's on them homosexuals. When you save, he wipe that off of you. And when you save, you walk like a man. You talk like a man. Your, your mannerism is, more, is manly. God changes that. And you still talking with a list and broken wrist and trying to preach over to somebody. And oh my God, you need to sit that brother down. Amen. Until he get himself together. Same thing with the women. Same thing with missionaries, mothers. Amen. If they not preaching and, and they life not reflecting sound gospel, they got, amen. You need to sit these folk down. But you got so many people they respecting and highly honoring. Amen. Folk that's in error. Watch out now. Watch out. Time don't change the requirements of God or his holiness. Time do not change God's holiness. God said for us to be holy for he is holy. And I know this word ain't going to rest or sit comfortably with a lot of people. Amen. But I pray that you have ears to hear and a heart to receive what I'm telling the church because I'm trying to warn you because it won't be long when the trumpet of God is going to sound the dead in Christ. They going that, that's already in heaven because when a saint die, they instantly go to heaven. Well, why has the dead in Christ going to rise from the grave if when you die, they automatically go to heaven you see how folk they don't have an understanding see help me jesus amen yeah when a saint die that by, that that spirit goes directly to heaven but when a rapture take place and the trumpet of god oh my god somebody they glad i'm talking about this right now amen i'm glad that you're receiving it when that body when that spirit go to heaven and when the rapture take place that body that's in that grave is going to be resurrected back with that spirit that's what it means by the dead in Christ going to rise first. Yeah, the saints is already in heaven when they die. But when the trumpet of God sound and Jesus Christ come back for his church, those dead bodies of those saints going to be resurrected to be resurrected and back united with that spirit. Yeah. Woo, glory to God. You got to know the word of God to stand on it. You got to know the truth to hold on to it. Amen. So we won't be deceived. And I pray that you be ready. I'll be ready. We all be. I pray that we all be ready for the coming of the Lord. Draw off nigh. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you for helping me to send forth your word. Lord, I pray that somebody receive this word in the name of Jesus. Lord, anybody that have any issues, oh God, with what I spoke, Lord, they going to have to answer to you, God. For I have behind you, I have behind your spirit, I have behind your word, I have behind your anointing, oh God. Oh God, and I pray that you give them knowledge, wisdom, understanding, revelation of your word according to sound doctrine oh God line upon line precept upon precept Lord help somebody right now in the name of Jesus oh God that's being manipulated uh, open the saints eyes Lord uh, oh God and open up our ears uh, Lord God so we can recognize false teaching when we hear it oh God so we can know how to shun it uh, so we can know how to teach over it oh God and to correct the wrong Lord so your saints can be fed truth oh God Lord Lord God, because we want to make it to heaven. Uh, we don't want to be deceived. Uh, we don't want to be misled. Uh, we don't want to, hallelujah, to stray from the narrow and the holy way, God. Lord, I'm asking that you're blessed right now. And those preachers and teachers that's not false, uh, oh God, but that's teaching something in error. Because some, they teach in error, oh uh, God, unwillingly, Lord, ignorantly, not intentionally. Lord, I pray for even those, oh God, that just happen to be in error, Lord, with a pure heart, oh God, that you open up up they mind and understanding oh God oh God and to help them with a humble heart and spirit look Lord like uh, oh God like and uh, like 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 the other like the prophet oh God oh God that uh, 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 help me Jesus to remember his name Lord oh God 
uh, uh, Ananias, oh God, uh, uh, that, that was preaching, or uh, uh, he he just taught through John the Baptist, oh God. He didn't know, oh God, the baptism, and he didn't know, oh God, J uh, Jesus Christ, oh God, oh God. And the two, the the husband and the wife, they 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 took him into himself, and the Bible said they taught unto him a more excellent way, God. Oh God, I'm praying right now, God. Oh God, for any leader that might be in error ignorantly, Lord. Oh God, that unintentionally, God, Lord, that you would lead them to the truth. Oh God, and help them to receive the truth when they hear it, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Turn, oh God, the hearts of men, oh God, unto your standards, your statutes, your precepts, oh God. Help us all to stay, Lord, and help us all to go back, Lord, to that original old landmark teaching God. Oh God, sound doctrine, restrictions and keeping ourselves in a holy covenant with you, Lord, without spot, wrinkle, or blemish, or any such thing in Jesus' name, I pray. Lord, anybody that got anything against me, God, Lord, I pray for them right now, God. I pray for their heart, their mind, their attitude, Lord. Lord, I pray for them right now, God, that you would even shine your light unto them, Lord, in the name of Jesus, fix and correct Wreck, chastise, rebuke, oh God, whatever you got to do, whatever you want to do, Lord, for your word to go out, Lord, for your will to be done, I humbly submit to your will, Lord, to death do me closer, in the name of Jesus, I give you the glory, the honor, and the praise, right now, in Jesus' name, thank God, amen, amen, if you receive the word, give your God a great big praise, give your God, Jehovah, a great big praise. Your spirit